Good morning, guys. This is me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is 7.55 a.m. Central Standard Time, and it's about 44 degrees outside. It's a perfectly clear day, no wind. This is February the 21st. It's Tuesday, whatever that is, 2017. And uh, anyway, it's supposed to be... Uh, about 75 today and for the rest of the week beautiful weather weather's nice very nice actually <clears throat> anyway had a lot of comments and uh, a lot of people watching those uh, RV videos I'm about to run out of RVs I think and which is good <laughs> getting tired of looking at RVs well anyway what I did when I did those videos at the RV show in Austin Texas what I did was I tried to do a video of all the different types I did a fifth wheel uh, some travel trailers. I did a Class A, Class C. There didn't have a Class B. I did a slide-in truck camper and some of the micro RVs. And uh, but anyway, this is an it. This is a it. Well, this is red on the head. <clears throat> it's hard not to get in his way. And this is a oh, another it. But anyway, this one just grins and this one just stares. Why are they here? I have no clue. They're a presence. Okay, they are a presence in my house home house anyway had a comment here that uh maybe you guys and i can help this fellow out because he's got a good comment and i've kind of been in a similar situation so i'll add a little flavor and then y'all can sort of decorate the cake i guess <clears throat> anyway it says uh, rusty how did you manage to get by from age 51 until retirement i'll tell you if you didn't do much, and I didn't do much. I just turned 51 Sunday, by the way. The reason I'm asking is this. My dad passed away in December of 2013. We had a family automotive business, but we had to sell it after he passed. Long story. I was never fortunate enough to go to college and learn a skill. Now I'm in limbo and already not sure what to do. Currently, I'm living off my inheritance, but it's only going to get me so far. My fear is having to wind up working at Walmart or the like until I'm 62 or 65. What does someone with no skill set do? It's a good question. Right now, I'm, I truly feel lost. Any suggestion? Thanks in advance. Okay. First suggestion, cut your expenses to the bone. That's it. Now, I don't know if you're living in the family home where you don't have any rent. If you are, that's great. If you're having to pay rent, you got to get rid of that crap. How do you do that? You're going to have to buy you a cheap, junky, junky little RV and something to pull it with. <clears throat> now, this is just, this is what I did, okay? When I came back from the U.S. Peace Corps, I'd turn 51 in the Peace Corps. I came back, they give you a little bonus money. I think it's around 6000 or so. And uh, anyway, but I had a little bit, so I, but anyway, I bought me a, a very used RV, my first one that I owned. I'd been living in them before, but I first one I owned myself. But anyway, so I bought me an old junky RV. I had an old junky truck, a 79 Chevrolet pickup, and away I went and lived in the desert. And uh, cost me nothing. Uh, so, <clears throat> you can live on public land. But what I did then, I did that for a couple of years trying to figure out what to do. And I took some part-time work. Of course, I had a degree in accounting, so I could get some part-time work. Uh, working in accounting, doing different things, and so that helped out. But for you, you say you have no skill. Everybody's got some skills. They just don't know what they are yet. And uh, so, uh, also, you have to work in order to get your Social Security benefits at age 62 or whenever. You have to have worked 30 quarters in the 10 years leading up to your reti retirement. Now, a quarter is not three months. A quarter is like $3,800. And every time you earn $3,800 in a year, you get credit for a quarter. So you'll have to check with Social Security on that to be sure you're on the right page of getting your Social Security when you reach age 62, okay? Know what the requirements are and what the little glitches are because there are some that I didn't know about and that's why I went back to work and did some stuff. So <clears throat> now what you can do, go to a website called, if you get you an RV or an old van, do you an event, old van? build out you know I don't know what your deal is but these are just suggestions but if, if I had to do over again and I had just come back from the US Peace Corps I'd buy me an old van 
and uh, fix it up to live in. You know, and uh, you know, watch cheap RV living uh, YouTube channel, Bob Wells stuff, and see how to do a build out on a van. What you need for heat, cooling, you know, fans, uh, bed, all that kind of stuff, and live as cheap as you can because you can make that inheritance lasts a hell of a lot longer than you think if you have virtually no expenses except feeding your face and putting clothes on your body and your fuel expense can be minimized because getting in an area where you can go north and south and stay in a fairly nice climate <clears throat> and you can live fairly cheaply there's also a lot of things you can do in fact when i was at the rv show in austin texas uh here uh, on february the 17th this year they had a, a group there from Amazon.com recruiting retirees and other people to work at their uh, uh, shipping sites at different places, and they provide living accommodations and all kind of thing. So you can check into doing that. You can also check into a thing called Work Campers, and there's all kind of jobs for people willing to travel around and do different things, and they can usually get a free site and all that kind of stuff, free hookup. You may have to do that off and on for a few years, and you might be able to do it for like six months at a time <clears throat> and earn enough to live for the, another six months. So there's, a, you know, start looking at, you know, like you know, look at what retired people are doing because that's basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to be living the retired life and uh, trying to make ends meet. Uh, there are some things you can do over the internet, but those be careful with those because they always ask you to send some money up front. <clears throat> Another thing you can do right now where you live, more than likely, assuming you live in a reasonably sized city or you're near one, uh, you can become what is called a brand ambassador. Okay, B-R-A-N-D, brand, second word, ambassador. Look at, uh, go to uh, uh, Craigslist for the area you live in and look for employment, look for uh, brand ambassadors. Those are part-time jobs. They usually pay about 20 bucks an hour and you usually get $60 to, or more for doing a, a, a demonstration, okay? And it can be cooking event or it can be just doing wine and beer. <clears throat> and you can pick up, and it's all uh, contract labor. So, you know, you have to uh, file a, a schedule. No, I don't get into the technique, but anyway, you, you'll, it'll all be, uh, 1099 income and uh, so but that's another source of income but again a caution be sure you know what the Social Security guidelines are because you do there is a requirement that you have to have worked a certain number of quarters the pr prior 10 years to retirement now you, you can contact them and find out what that is and you must have paid into Social Security uh, for a certain number of years before you can draw any Social Security about, at all. You have to have a certain number of quarters. I think it's 40 quarters. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, at, you know, again, but as far as skills, you can get them. You know, you can get skills. You can, you know, you can uh, do stuff. Uh, you can take courses online. You can go to a community college. You can do all kind of stuff, okay? And, uh, but what you want to do, you don't want to use up your nest egg too fast because if you run out of steam, you will be standing there as a greeter at Walmart or be a, a making hamburgers at McDonald's, that's for sure. But anyway, <clears throat> those are just a few suggestions. Uh, again, what I would do now, knowing what I know now, looking back, when I got back from the U.S. Peace Corps, the first thing I would have done would, would have been gone. See, we, there was no real internet back in 1995 when I came back from the Peace Corps, so I, I couldn't do a lot of the things you can do now. But you can go get on the internet and check with Work Campers. It'll be W-O-R-K-A-M-P-E-R-S, I think. But it's Work Campers, people that are retired or traveling around the USA. And they can take, you know, jobs at Amazon.com at their different shipping points. And you just want to, and you can also volunteer at uh, national parks and, uh, and work at the concessions. And, uh, you know, they, they give you housing, plus they give you a, a wage, and uh, usually you get uh, meals along with that. And so you, you got a lot of options. You just got to be willing to do them, you know, because, uh, you know, I volunteered at national parks. You know, you go around. You, it, it's not, it's no, not hard. In fact, it's a lot of fun, okay, a lot of fun. And for you at your age, 51, you'd enjoy the hell out of it. Uh, <clears throat> there's another company I worked with out of... Uh, I believe it was called Norcross, Georgia. It's near Atlanta. It's called Southern Cross, and they go they 
uh, you go there for training for about a week, and then they put you, excuse me, they're red on the head. Don't doze off now. See, there you go. He knotted it off of them. Uh, but anyway, you go to uh, Norcross, Georgia for about a week, and they show you how to uh, check for gas leaks on uh, gas pipelines and uh, give you a little thing called a sniffer and send you on your way, and you'll work uh, uh, in a certain area. They give you a per diem, which takes care of all your you know, living expenses they want. They would rather you had an RV, but if you had a van build out that you could live in, that would work for you too. As long as you got a place to live cheap, okay? And you can do good with that because you can move around. You can do down in Florida. You know, you can do around Atlanta, Georgia. You can do uh, in Texas, different places. And so that's, and they pay, that's good because what I did, uh, I lived off the per diem and everything that they paid me, I just saved. And that, that, that just that just put me on my feet and away I went. So there's a lot of op options out there. And as far as learning the skill, uh, just start, I tell you what, man, just start looking, you know, uh, just start looking, you know, just do the shotgun approach, you know, calculate us, eliminate us. You know what that means? If you want to find out where something is, find out where it ain't, start asking people. And every time they say no, you're just one step closer to getting a yes. Okay. The more no... Every time you get a no, you ought to smile. Or, you know, whenever you're looking for a job, every time somebody tells you no, you ought to smile because you keep you, you get enough no's, you sooner or later you're gonna get a yes. It may be one out of ten, and in that case, you got to ask ten people real quick. But be that as it may, <clears throat> what I would say immediately, because what you're gonna do, and a lot of people do it, I know some kids that inherited money and they did live off of it and drained it pretty quick. Uh, Foolishly, some of it, in my opinion, you know, bought cars and stuff. But be that as it may, you seem like a sharp guy. So, uh, get you an old van. I don't know how you're living, but I, you know, if you're renting, you got to get out of that. That's throwing money down the drain. You got to get out of that renting. I, the first thing I did when I came back from the Peace Corps was put myself in a situation where I did not have to rent because rent back then was even high. It's even higher now. I imagine the cheapest apartment you can find is six to eight hundred dollars a month, maybe more. I don't know. <clears throat> but so anyway put yourself in a uh, mobile position that's my opinion step one step two be sure you can live in whatever that mobile position is and you got it because you can live very very cheaply on the road and there's a lot of little jobs you can do on the road because you can do all the searching on the internet now find a location if you're mobile zoom you go there work there for a while and when that thing runs out whatever it happens to be boom you go to another one and in the interim, you take some time off and enjoy your life, and you can live you can live a great life between now and retirement and on and on and on. But anyway, I'm sure you're going to get some input from some of the viewers uh, that are watching this video, and they're going to give you some help too. But all I can tell you is, babe, uh, this guy's viewer's name is Scott W. I guess he's, he's on the website. You'll see him somewhere. But anyway, he's 51 years old. He's trying to figure out what to do to survive, okay? He's got a little money saved up, and uh, so anyway, we'll see what we can do for you, bud. So anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios from it, red on the head, another it, and this it. <clears throat> thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 USA made when you can. Take deep breaths, in through your nose and out through your mouth, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, do all that stuff for exercise, and Scott, you better do it too, because if you don't, you won't have to worry about uh, making money, you'd be dead. <laughs> you know, when you lose your health, bud, it's over. So keep your health and get going. So anyway, guys, thumbs up. Bye-bye from It's. Bye.